Alec Baldwin gets kicked off a plane and Mythbusters sends cannons through the suburbs. This is Hot Off The Net. Hey guys, I'm Dorian Douglas. Tuesday afternoon, Alec Baldwin hopped a flight from LAX to JFK, but all didn't go according to plan. Alec was so into his game of words with friends that when asked to turn off his iPad, he refused and continued searching for the perfect word. The flight attendant repeatedly asked him to turn off his electronics, but Alec figured since the plane was still at the gate, he was all in the clear. After the confrontation, Alec got up to use the lavatory and angrily slammed the door. That's when the captain got involved, kicking Baldwin off the plane for being unruly. Alec claims that the flight attendant went ballistic on him and began tweeting about how much he hates American Airlines. Hashtag, no wonder America Air is bankrupt. Now American is fighting back, saying Alec was an epic jerk and didn't follow the guidelines set in place for the FAA. If Baldwin keeps going on these belligerent rants, he may actually just be elected as the mayor of New York City. And in other news, Mythbusters is in big trouble. While two families were enjoying a nice quiet afternoon in their homes in Dublin, California, Jamie and Adam were scheming up another myth to bust. The duo was trying to figure out how effective a cannon is at firing non-cannonball-like objects, but first they had to test the cannonball itself. Instead of hitting a nearby hill like they had suspected, the cannonball was launched into a suburban neighborhood. The cannonball apparently bounced in front of the house, through the front door, and up through the second floor before exiting through the back wall. Then it flew over a couple streets to another house where it ricocheted off the roof and smashed through the window of a minivan before finally resting. That is one magic cannonball. Thanks for joining me guys. Tune in tomorrow to see which rock star absolutely loves Madonna. Bye.